Hi guys, I am your CMY Ate Prima and welcome back sa video day 4. Ang virtue na pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay walang iba kundi ang temperance. Maaaring narinig na natin yung temperance sa school o kaya nabasa na natin sa libro. Pero alam ba natin yung definition ng temperance? Ang temperance daw ay moderation in action, thoughts, or feelings self-restraint, pag sinabi natin Tagalog, pagtipigil sa sarili, o kaya pagtitimpi. Temperance also teaches us how to be humble and modest. So, paano natin ito yan yung tulad kay Mother Mary? Mother Mary was temperate in food, mortified in her repose, regulated in the affections and sentiments of her heart. She was always humble and modest in every way. She showed great self-restraint and great temperance in herself that she was truly an inspiration to us. So, Virgin Mary was perfectly humble um, in her mind where she, where the truth alone are held sway. Alam mo, katulad ng nag-oo siya kay Angel Gabriel nung mo siya sa plano ng Lord. Hindi niya inisip yung sarili niya nun. Inisip niya yung greater glory of God. Yung plano ng Diyos para sa lahat. Lagi niyang inisip na ay bawat plano na to ay is always for the greater glory of God. She was always even tempered. She suffered but never became discouraged by sorrow. She rejoiced in consolation, but did not exalt herself. Her virtue was perfect. So, makita natin na never si Mary nag boast about all the things that she she have, di ba? I mean, is kung isip kung totoo sin, she could have everything, but she remained humble to herself. She remained the person that we know. She remained true to herself, being a modest person. So we practice self-restraint and have temperance in ourselves. Kasi, tingnan natin sa sitwasyon, kunyari, nanalo ka sa isang um, art contest. Tapos, um, you do that in, for the greater glory of God. Kasi, yung talent na yun, hindi naman sa sarili mo lang eh. Oo, ninerish mo. Pero, saan ba galing yung talent na yun? Galing yun kay Lord, di ba? Kaya, you do everything for the greater glory of God. Meron nga, di ba, um, verse, sabi daw, Who is slow to anger has great understanding, but one who has hasty temper exalts fully. So, makikita natin doon na kung sino yung slow to anger, siya pa yung mas nakakaintindi. Kasi, we have our self-restraint. We, we control ourselves to understand more people, to help other people know what they are feeling. And ganun yung nararasan ni Mother Mary. Kahit alam niya na Jesus was on a rough road, she was always there to understand and to listen to Jesus. That's why we need to practice self-restraint. Eh. Kasi lahat naman sa atin ay hiram lamang. All our talents, all our knowledge is from God Himself. So just like Mary, we should have a moderation with our thoughts, actions, and with our words. Ayan ang video for today and together with Mary, let us live a virtuous life.